Welcome to Motivation at Hand, Ma. To know is to know how. Beneath the azure sky, so vast and wide. Where dreams take flight on winds that softly glide. In nature's arms, where beauty's colors bloom. I find my solace, in this earthly room. Among the stars that twinkle in the night. I seek the answers to life's endless flight. In constellations, mysteries unfold. A cosmic story, in the stars retold. As morning breaks, with golden rays of sun. A new beginning, life's journey has begun. With each day's light, a chance to start anew. To chase our dreams, with skies so bright and blue. In whispered breezes, secrets softly share. The world's alive, in every breath of air. With every heartbeat, in this wondrous dance. I find my place, in life's sweet, cosmic trance. Hopi, the god of the Nile. Lived under the rocks in a cave. Guarded by snakes. Hopi was believed to inhabit a cavern beneath the first cataract, and the annual flooding was often referred to as the arrival of Hopi. Hopi defied representation in images, and his true form remained elusive. Hoppy's enigmatic nature lay in the fact that, unlike the visible rising and setting of Ra, the source of the Nile's inundation remained shrouded in mystery. Although it was associated with the star Sirius. The primary center of worship for Hoppy was the island of Elephantine at the first cataract. He is shown as a fat man, a sign of prosperity, with the breast of a woman, some say one pendant breast is shown, which indicate his powers of fertility. Hoppy holds two plants, the papyrus and the lotus, or two vases, from which he pours water. He is also depicted carrying a tray of food. See also Chibu pre-dynastic Kemet, he god of drink, is mentioned in a hymn to Hoppy, the god of the Nile. Along with the god of corn, Nepra, and Ptah. Hoppy, also known as the Hidden One, derived its name from the ancient term for the Nile River. As the deity presiding over the Nile, Hopi occupied a distinctive and indispensable role within Egyptian mythology. The annual inundation of the Nile held paramount importance for agriculture, the sustenance of flora, and the flourishing of all life forms in ancient Egypt. The Nile essentially served as the life force of the Egyptian civilization, with Hopi embodying this vital aquatic flow. His authority was viewed as being on par with that of Ra, the sun god, as the very existence of life in Egypt hinged upon the life-sustaining waters of the Nile. In the eyes of pre-dynastic Chemetians, Kemet was considered a terrestrial reflection of the celestial body, and the cooling moisture originating from the Nile symbolized the cosmic fire of Ra, which manifested through the element of water. In the realm of occult symbolism, Hopi was representative of the fluidic energy of the astral body. Hopi's connection with the Nile was so deeply rooted in antiquity that he became intertwined with Alcer, Osiris, another deity linked to the river. Even in later dynastic periods, Hopi was invoked to facilitate the annual inundation, a prominent celebration across the land. The annual flooding of the Nile was a transformative spectacle, vividly described as water surging from distant lakes converting the arid terrain into a fertile garden. The once monotonous landscape burst into a riot of colors. With the water taking on a crimson hue due to the presence of iron oxide, crafting a remarkable depiction of a river resembling blood. The rebirth of Egypt was intrinsically tied to the silt transported by the Nile's waters. A cycle split into three months of inundation followed by nine months of arid conditions symbolizing the period of human gestation. Hopi garnered reverence as the father of the gods and the vivifier of the land. Aligning with the primeval creative Netaru, including Nu, the abyss from which the sun god emerged. A hymn dedicated to Hopi paid homage to his pivotal role in nurturing Egypt and all its living beings. As Egypt was divided into two regions, Hopi was envisioned as a dual deity. Hapmate, representing the god of the North Nile, adorned with a crown of papyrus stalks, and Hap Resert, symbolizing the god of the South Nile, wearing a crown adorned with lotus flowers. 
In depictions where Hoppy was represented as a single entity, he was depicted holding both the papyrus and lotus, symbolizing the constellation Aquarius. A complex knot, meticulously tied by the two gods around a symbol known as the Hadi, symbolized the flow of vital energies coursing through the Nile. These energies were symbolized by the heart, lungs, breath, and blood. The knot served as a representation of the pharaoh's dominion over both regions of Egypt. Hopi's dual manifestations were also associated with goddesses Udit and Nekbet, and shared connections with Nut, Mut, and Aset as female counterparts. Hopi's iconography portrayed a figure embodying male and female attributes, featuring a male physique alongside female breasts. An embodiment of fertility akin to the duality evident in other Egyptian deities like Mut. In essence, Hopi symbolized the harmonious amalgamation of opposing forces, ushering in positive energy and renewal. Shown clearly through the eight Ogdodes, the bedrock of Kemet's societal fabric. The significance of male-female complementarity was deeply ingrained in pre-synastic Kemetian cosmology. Emblematic of the fluidic energy within astral work. In their capacity as pharaohs, they embodied Heru, Horus, who was the earthly manifestation of the sun, upholding cosmic order. The pharaoh's Heru or Horus name was symbolized by the Ha symbol. Furthermore, the pharaoh's Ka name represented the cosmic embodiment of the masculine-feminine, male-female principle. The pharaoh's authority extended to two female netters. Ushjit, the cobra goddess of the north, and Nekhebet, the vulture goddess of the south. The pharaoh's third name, the golden Horus, was symbolized by the sun at its zenith, representing the height of the sun's authority in the heavens and the pharaoh's authority on earth. The pharaoh also bore the title of the master of the two lands, symbolized by the bulrush of the south and the bee of the north. In this role, the pharaoh served as the unifier, establishing order and countering the forces of chaos personified by Set. Heru's power emanated from his mother, Auset, who acquired Ra's secret name, the source of his solar power, and the promise that Heru would rule on earth. This highlights the fundamental interplay of male-female, masculine-feminine cosmic forces as the foundation of the pharaoh's right to rule. As the unifier of Kemet, the pharaoh, embodying the Heru. In twilight's gentle embrace, we find our rest. As day and night converge, we are truly blessed. With hearts aglow and dreams to hold so tight. We will embrace the darkness and welcome the night. Though this chapter ends, a new one shall begin. With hope in our souls, we'll let our spirits spin. In the tapestry of life, our stories entwine. With each closing chapter, a new adventure we'll find. Much appreciation to you for giving of your time with us at Motivation at Hand. To know is to know how. We trust you will come back soon.